Selling cash secured puts on stocks an investor is happy to take ownership of is a great way to generate some extra income. A cash secured put involves writing an at the money or out of the money put option and simultaneously setting aside enough cash to buy the stock. The goal is to either have the put expire worthless and keep the premium, or to be assigned and acquire the stock below the current price. It's important that anyone selling puts understands that they may be assigned 100 shares at the strike price. Why trade cash secured puts? Selling cash secured puts is a bullish trade but slightly less bullish than outright stock ownership. If the investor was strongly bullish, they would prefer to look at strategies like a long call, a bull call spread, or a poor man's covered call. Investors would sell a put on a stock they think will stay flat, rise slightly, or at worst not drop too much. Cash secured put sellers set aside enough capital to purchase the shares and are happy to take ownership of the stock if called upon to do so by the put buyer. Naked put sellers, on the other hand, have no intention of taking ownership of the stock and are purely looking to generate premium from option selling strategies. The more bullish the cash secure put investor is, the closer they should sell the put to the current stock price. This will generate the most amount of premium and also increase the chances of the put being assigned. Selling deep out of the money puts generates the smallest amount of premium and is less likely to see the put assigned. JNJ Cash Secure Put Example On Friday, with JNJ trading at 176.78, the May put option with a strike price of 175 was trading around $4.05. Traders selling this put would receive $405 in option premium. In return for receiving this premium, they have an obligation to buy 100 shares of JNJ for $175. By May 20, if JNJ is trading for $150 or $120 or even $80, the put seller still has to buy 100 shares at $175. But, if JNJ is trading above $175, the put option expires worthless, and the trader keeps the $405 option premium. The net capital at risk is equal to the strike price of $175, less the 4.05 in option premium. So, if assigned, the net cost basis will be $170.95. That's not bad for a stock currently trading at $176.78. That's a 3.3% discount from the price it was trading on Friday. If JNJ stays above $175, the return on capital is $405-17,095 equals 2.37% in 53 days, which works out to 16.32% annualized. Either the put seller achieves an 16.32% annualized return or gets to buy a high-yielding stock for a 3.3% discount. Company Details The Barkhart Technical Opinion Rating is an 88% buy with the strongest short-term outlook on maintaining the current direction. Of 11 analysts covering JNJ, 5 have a strong buy rating, one has a moderate buy and five have a hold rating. Johnson & Johnson is engaged in the research and development, manufacture and sale of a range of products in the healthcare field. The company operates in three segments, consumer, pharmaceutical, and medical devices and diagnostics. Its consumer segment offers products for use in the baby care, skin care, oral care, wound care, and women's health fields, nutritional and over-the-counter pharmaceutical products. The company's pharmaceutical segment provides various products in the areas of anti-infective, antipsychotic, contraceptive, dermatology, gastrointestinal, hematology, immunology, neurology, oncology, pain management, thrombosis, vaccines, and infectious diseases. Its medical devices and diagnostics segment offers electrophysiology and circulatory disease management products, orthopedic joint reconstruction, spinal care, neurological, and sports medicine products, surgical care, aesthetics, and women's health products. Johnson & Johnson is based in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Summary 
While this type of strategy requires a lot of capital, it is a great way to generate an income from stocks you want to own. If you end up being assigned, you can sit back and collect the nice 2.42% dividend on offer from JNJ. You can do this on other stocks as well, but remember to start small until you understand a bit more about how this all works. Risk-averse traders might consider buying an out-of-the-money put to protect the downside.